snoring. I'm going to the mobile men's health clinic at the mosque. What? They're doing the testing for heart disease. It's very common with us Pakistanis. Did you know we're in the top three groups most affected? Top three? Good, eh? Is something wrong with you? No, it's not for me. I'm fit as a fiddler. They're testing the young people, so I'm taking future son-in-law. Has Amjad got a heart problem? No, unfortunately not. <laughs> This way, I get my picture in the papers. Imagine your father, Mr. Khan, on the front page of the Spark Hill Echo. Headline could be, Community Leader Leads Community. <laughs> I don't get it. This project is very high profile, Betty. Lots of press coverage. We got famous Asian member of parliament coming down to support it. Well, which one? There's only one famous Asian MP, darling. Keith Faz. No, the other one. <laughs> you know, I am doing this for the whole family. Imagine what your classmates will say when you tell them. Yeah. So you know what? We just Alia Khan. I'll be Alia Khan, daughter of a man who is a friend of an MP. Exactly. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Babaji. Wow. You're like the son your mother never gave me. <laughs> Have some money. Of course. Oh. Alia, get some normal clothes on. We're going shopping. Hey, where are we going? TJ's Baby Warehouse. It's the biggest outlet store in the West Midlands. What are we going there for? To buy baby clothes. What? We're going to buy baby clothes. Exciting, isn't it? Exciting? It's a bloody miracle. <laughs> Look for me, you idiot. <laughs> Charmaine down the road. She's due next week. And I might pick up a few things myself. What? You're not married. It's impossible for you to have children. <laughs> but when we are married, we'll be having children then. God willing. And God help us. <laughs> I love babies. I love them so much. I really, really love them. I love their tiny little hands and their tiny little feet and their chubby She's off again. No one loves babies as much as I do. And Amjad is such a healthy young man. He'll have no trouble producing lots of babies when the time comes, eh? I'll do my best. <laughs> Tell me, that you can drive us. No! I need Amjad to come with me to the mosque. Why? Because it's good for us to spend time together. You're always saying I don't spend enough quality time with him. And you're right. He's going to be a part of this family, after all. We're not losing a daughter. We're gaining a son. And we're going to do the father and son bonding stuff. Just me and him. <laughs> oh, Dad, that's so sweet. Thanks, Dad. All right, don't get carried away, eh? Okay, fine, but just meet us outside the baby shop at one o'clock. And take care of our little baby machine.
Yes, and of course, I'm delighted to be showing my support for such a fantastic project. I'm also very delighted to be supporting this project. Even more so delighted. <laughs> Sorry, you are? Mr. Khan, community leader. They all know me. Tony Abbas, a member of parliament. I know who you are. I'm MP too. Oh, really? Yes, Muslim Pakistani. <laughs> Well, it's um, lovely we've had such a strong turnout. Isn't it? You know, I'm always saying the National Health Service is one of our greatest achievements. Did you know there are more Pakistani doctors here now than in the whole of Karachi? That's progress, eh? Really? I, I didn't know that. Oh, yes. Pakistani doctors do it all. Neurologist, cardiologist, gynecologist. We got our fingers in lots of pies. Right. What about the photos? When are we going to do them? Oh, um, maybe later. It's just I have a meeting in the uh, mosque. Okay. And then maybe we can have a private chat. A little bit of quality time. Huh? Me and you got a lot in common. <laughs> All right. See you later. <laughs> Who's next, please? Reporting for duty. Assalamu alaikum. Ready for testing? We've just been speaking to the Member of Parliament. We're going to get our photos taken for the papers later. Great. Uh, we just need to fill out some paperwork first. Of course. So, name? Amjad Malik. A-M-J. Wait, what is it? That's my name. Yes, because you're the one having the tests. Oh, but what about you? Amja, this isn't about me. You're the important one. But I don't think I need a health check, sir. You're joining the Khan family now, son. Very healthy men in our family. Imran Khan, Amir Khan, Chaka Khan. It is a 15-year project, so you will have to agree to be tested for all that time. Yes, he does, don't you? But yes. Oh, hold on. Date of birth? 8 12 89. Um, sex? I suppose. Eventually. <laughs> Salam alaikum, Mr. Khan. Hello, Dave. What the hell are you doing here? Well, I thought I'd come along and help out. Well, keep your hands off the MP. I've already bags it in. Actually, Mr. Khan, heart disease is a real issue in the Asian community. We need to do everything we can to fight it. Yes. I don't know whether you've noticed, Dave, but you're not part of the Asian community. Look at me. Face brown, hair black. That's an Asian. Look at you, face white, hair ginger. That's a ginger. I see any human beings, Mr. Khan. I'm completely colorblind. Well, you'd have to be to put up with that hair. <laughs> well, well done, Amjad. You're doing a good thing here. You know, heart disease is the number one cause of death amongst middle-aged Pakistani men. You see? Oh, yes. It's your genes, apparently. What about you, lot? Do you get it? It's not as bad for us. Well, I suppose there has to be some advantages, eh? <laughs> How can they tell if I've got heart disease? They give you a cholesterol test. That's one of the markers. But they'll also tell you the heart attack symptoms to look out for. Shortness of breath, dizziness, sharp pain down the left side. All right, keep it light. You don't want to frighten him, do we? A few of my cousins had it. We found out because they had the high cholesterol. See? What happened to them? They all died. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just like that. One minute, walking around eating salad. Next minute, gone. What about you? Have you got it? No, I keep in good shape. <laughs> okay, Mr. Malik. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Jiffy, are you afraid? Is that it? Don't be afraid. It'll be all right. I'll be with you the whole time. Open the bloody door. Go <laughs> to get my picture in the paper.
way. The guard? I'm stuck. Try and hold on to it all until we see the doctor. But what if I can't have children? What am I going to tell Shazia? Nothing. There's no problem. It's all fine. I've already been worried about it, to be honest. My cousin's been trying for ages to have children. I think infertility might run in the family. <laughs> and I've had the mumps. You know what that means? No. Well, they get really hot and then they start to swell up. What? You know, <laughs> mine were the size of pomegranates. <laughs> They're better now. Pomegranates are great. Ryan stops you getting the runs. That's true, but I find the seeds always get stuck in your teeth. Right, I'll just explain what happened and see if I can get us an appointment. Hang on, Dave, I'll deal with this. But all the world and his auntie knowing our private business. Next, please. Hello, yes, we are next. Name? Mr. Khan. K, H for hat, A for Asian, N for knowledge. <laughs> you don't have an appointment today. No, but uh, we need to see the doctor urgently on a bit of a delicate matter. What's it regarding? I just told you. Delicate matter. Can you be more specific? No. <laughs> they do need to have some idea, Mr. Khan. Dave, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but I'm Mr. Khan, if you move to leader. They all know me. If this gets out and Mrs. Khan hears about it, I'll need mine sewing back on, never mind I'm that. <laughs> Honestly, Mr. Carl, it's fine. This is a doctor's surgery. They have very strict privacy rules. Anything you say in here will be treated with the utmost confidence. Brilliant! Right. Okay. It's a bit of an urgent matter concerning the general region of the Dingley Danglies. <laughs> I see. And is the appointment for yourself? Of course not! Do I look like I've got a problem with my dingly danglies? <laughs> oh, I'm as fit as a halal butcher's dog. Don't worry about me. <laughs> it's for him. Assalamu alaikum. Right. Well, the first available appointment is next Monday at 10. Well, that's no good. We need to see someone now. I'm sorry, we're fully booked. It's an emergency. Look at him. He's beside himself. If he doesn't see a doctor today, anything could happen. I might do something stupid. <laughs> if you could let us see a doctor, we would be very grateful. Okay, fine. I'll see what I can do. There you are. Very good. And make sure it's with a Pakistani doctor, eh? <laughs> we don't want one of those dodgy foreign ones, you know? <laughs> doctor Patel could squeeze you in. Patel? He's a bloody Indian! <laughs> Tell is an excellent doctor. No bloody way! Who wants you back? Um, Dr. Gupta. Indian. Dr. Prakash. Indian! Dr. Man. Oh, he sounds okay. What's he like? That's him over there. No, thank you! Well, that just leaves Dr. Lowry. And is Dr. Lowry? Dr. Lowry is white. Right, uh, that'll do. Right, well, take a seat and wait to be called. Thank you. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.
All right. What do you win for? Picking up bee paracetamols. <laughs> NHS is great, hello. <laughs> oh, free transport as well. <laughs> I don't think they got a cure for gingeritis, mate. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> hey, huh? It's not that bad. Yes. I suppose there's lots of couples who don't have children, and they're happy, aren't they? Most of them. Look, Amjad. Who knows what the future holds? We're all in God's hands. And the important thing is that you and Shazia love each other. And together, you can get through anything. Anyway, you got another one. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mr. Khan speaking. Oh, hello, sweetie darling. Are you having a nice time? Huh, we're ready. Come and get us. Oh, tell him to hurry up. I can't wait to show these to Amjad. That's right, dear. Maybe don't buy any baby clothes just yet. Eh? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> just hold on to the seats, huh? You never know. They may decide not to have children for some reason. What are you talking about? Where are you? The doctors. The doctors? Has something happened to Amjad? It's fine. It's nothing to worry about. It's all right, Mrs. Khan. I've got another one. Sure, <laughs> Mr. Khan, the doctor's ready for you. Yes, I know, sweetie, but <coughs> I'm losing you. I can't no signal. I can't hear you. <coughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'm really worried. Come, Chad. It'll be fine. You'll see the doctor. He'll be very understanding. He'll check you out, and he'll tell you everything's tickety-boo. Right. What can I do for you? I'm sorry, my dear. We're here to see Dr. Lowry. I'm Dr. Lowry. Crikey. She's a woman. <laughs> I can see that. Would you prefer to see a male doctor? Yes. No! But, sir, uh, chillax, Amjad. We need to get this sorted. So, she's a woman. So what? Women's are perfectly able at being almost as good doctors as men's. <laughs> There's no reason to be embarrassed. So, what seems to be the problem? Amjad? I... The... <laughs> He's getting married, you see, and he wants to have lots of children. And at first, well, he had the mumps, and then he's uh, swelled right up. They were the size of pomegranates. <laughs> They're better now. And then he sat on one of them. It was an accident. I see. So, what do you think? Well, I think we should have a little look. Why don't you go behind the screen and pop your trousers off? What? Hang on. <laughs> Is that strictly necessary? Well, I will need to examine him. Well, can't you tell from there? <laughs> Not really. Don't worry, I have examined lots of men before. I'm sure you have. <laughs> but we are Pakistani. We are different. I don't think you are. This is culture, you see. As a Pakistani Muslim man, I cannot be seen naked by any woman. Oh, really? What about your wife? I'm working on that one. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to book an appointment to see one of my male colleagues. Okay. No! We need to know now! Well, in that case, I will have to examine his testicles. Mrs. Doctor, no! <laughs> He's not even married yet. I don't know what to suggest. Right. I'll do it. What? What? Yes, it's fine. Just get behind the screen and I'll check for you. I'm not really comfortable, sir. 
I just think of something else. Like what? I don't know. Anything. Shazia. Absolutely not. <laughs> right. Come on. Undo it. Fucking God. Right. Here goes. Is there any sign of contusion or bleeding? No. Any swelling or any other abnormalities? No. Are you sure? No. Why not? I got my eyes shut! <laughs> Just lightly palpate each one. What? Just gently feel them to see if they're tender. You're joking. <laughs> no, it's important. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! It's terrible! They're completely flattened! <laughs> That's my wallet. Oh yeah. <laughs> Please be careful, sir. Shut up, Omjad! <laughs> Swing low. <laughs> Sweet chariot. Coming for to carry me home. Hello, Omjad's phone. <laughs> oh, hello, Mrs. Malik. It's your mother. <laughs> Yes, we are in the doctors. No, I got my hands full at the moment. <laughs> if this really isn't working, I do need to see this for myself. Right, I'm going to go, Mrs. Malley. Goodbye. Why don't I just come back there and have a look? No! Hang on. I got an idea. Right. Hold still. <laughs> Everything all right? It all looks normal. See? I told you. Are you sure? Can I still have children? Well, you will need a proper medical exam. Of course, the only way to be really sure is for us to get a sample and then test the output. Right. Now you've gone too far. <laughs> I think we can leave Amjad to do that on his own. Thank God. There you go. Don't worry, you don't have to fill it. Fill <laughs> <laughs> it. Fill it. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Hello, darling. What's happened to Amjad? Nothing. So what's he doing here, then? Uh, something came up when we were doing the bonding. What is it? Is it serious? They just need to investigate. Investigate what? Well, you know, this and that. This will be absolutely fine, but that might need a bit of attention. <laughs> what are you talking about? Right. Okay. You know, in the cricket, and you have balls. <laughs> and sometimes you have fast balls, slow balls, white balls, red balls, and even wide balls. Well, sometimes you can end up with no ball. <laughs> and if it's a no ball, it's no good because it won't count. Do you see? So, his spectacle has been repaired. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get out of the way. No, you can't go in there. Why not? He needs my help. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. He's in pain. I can't get the lid off. <laughs> what happened to you? Mr. Khan took me to the mobile clinic to get a health survey. You see? And then he was trying to crawl under the toilet cubicle with a member of parliament. <laughs> and then I heard my down below trying to get him out. Hi, hi. And now I have to give a sample to see if I can still have children. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, my God, Amjad. What have you done to my baby? What have you done to him? Oh, stop it. 
I've never been so embarrassed in my life. Can we go home, please? Okay, but I need to fill in my pot first. <laughs> Jack! Jack! How could you let this happen? The shame of it! How could you do this to us? If you damaged him, I'll never forgive ah, you. Ah, my arm! No. Don't try and change the subject! This is all your fault. It is not it's my fault. It could be your fault. Well, hang on, I think there's something really wrong. Shortness of breath, <laughs> rushing sound of the ears, <laughs> stabbing pains down your left side. Oh, my goodness. What? What is it? Heart attack. Did you do it in biology and that? What? Oh, my God. Somebody, <laughs> what about Amjad? Forget about Amjad. Call an ambulance. My husband is having a heart attack. Are you there, my darling? <laughs> I'm sorry about Amjad's testicles. <laughs> See, your strength, the ambulance will be here very soon. Just try and rest, okay? My family is here. That's all I need. My beautiful wife, my wonderful daughter, Alia, and Shazia, you're here too. <laughs> Alia, reach into my pocket. You'll find a piece of paper there. I always carry it with me. Just in case, it has some things written down on there. No, don't mm. stop it. It's a list of the best pound shops in Birmingham. <laughs> Alia, take it with my blessing. <laughs> I see a dark tunnel. I can see a light at the end of it. Go towards the light. No, no, don't go towards the light. Oh, yes, don't go towards the light. in the world. Only in Britain can you get this. I'm proud to be dying on NHS premises. Actually, I don't think he has had a heart attack. What? Well, his pulse is very strong and his breathing is normal. What are you talking about? I'm in agony. Come on, give me the pedals. There's really no need. What about the shortness of breath, the rushing sound in his ears? It's probably just a panic attack. But the stabbing pain in his left side, that's a heart attack. He does seem to have some bruising along the left side of his chest. How did that have happened? Well, I don't know, do I? <laughs> what? I mean, how should I know? It's got nothing to do with me. Okay. Has he had a fall or a collision of some kind? Have you been aware of anything like that? <laughs> I've been poking you in the ribs with a cricket bat every night. <laughs> Rubbish! I don't snore. You keep the whole house awake? It's like lying next to a freight train. <laughs> so, you're saying... Your husband is absolutely fine. <sighs> what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> I have to do this every day of my life. <laughs> Amjad's okay. Oh, me too. They'll make good parents, I think. Don't you? Huh. And we'll make good grandparents. Won't it be wonderful? You and me sitting on our patio with little Shazia's and Amjad's playing around our feet. Yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Lucky for them you're still in the land of the living. And lucky for me, too. Hmm? 
Good night. Good night, sir.